you guys so um i think i'm gonna do like a little mini vlog for today because today is my last day at work um i put in not even a two weeks notice i put in a month's notice probably even more than a month i can't remember when i put in my notice but yeah um i quit my job you'll tell that by the title but um i kind of just wanted to document this day because yesterday um I went out with my team and they had like a going away happy hour for me and I was kind of getting like emotional like not crying or anything but I was just starting to feel like everything that is happening uh, it's still pretty early for me to like go into I'm just about to write a couple of thank you cards to some of my co-workers and um let's see if this works um I need something a little bit higher, but I'm just about to write a thank you card to some of my coworkers and one to my manager. Um, you know, just as a nice gesture. I mean, it doesn't hurt. Right now, I feel pretty okay. Like, I'm not, um, I need to know something else to stand this thing up, stand this camera up on. Um, but everything is packed up, so I don't really have much. As you can see, my house is um packed up everything is on its way out my desk is not packed up because um i don't really know how to pack that up so i went for my mom but my closet is basically empty i ran out of tape that's why those aren't boxed up this has shoes on it but now it doesn't my little over the door shoe thing is empty my bathroom doesn't look packed up, but I promise it is. Like, all of this is empty. Oh, that's not empty because I need that stuff. Yeah, I am. Oh, I need to find something to stand this um, camera. Well, let me. We're going to try to use Eco Styler Gel. But let's just see how this works. I don't know how it's going to work. I don't want to go into, like, an explanation of why I quit my job. That's going to, um... That's gonna, I have one of those separate, so there's that. So, but I just kind of wanted to chronicle this day, like just kind of for myself. But I mean, I can also share it with you guys. That's not a problem, but I'm still looking like last night. I did brush my teeth and brush my face before I got on camera, but I still got on my pajamas. I got on a little one, old navy onesie. I don't know, it's just crazy, like, I was just like so unhappy at that job like I don't know should I post this first or should I post the video first of me explaining like why I quit my job I don't know but I'm about to write these thank you cards I also got them um a five dollar gift card to Target and I got my manager um a bottle of red wine but like she likes red wine and there's one that I really like so I got that for her um I don't know. I'm excited because I'm going back home, but I'm just like, kind of like sad to see this chapter go. I'm not sad to leave the work that I was doing because I just don't like, I didn't like the work, but I am sad to leave like some of the people because I did meet some pretty like cool people while I was here. And I mean, I probably won't be back in Missouri for anything. Like there's nothing here for me anymore so i'm okay right now but i just feel like as the day goes on i mean i don't know if i'll be like recording at work probably not but um as the day i ordered a window mount so that i could record while i was driving into work but i and i, did, I ordered yesterday morning and i did same day shipping but it's not gonna be here until today but whatever so I'm just gonna write these thank you cards. Um, I guess I'll come back maybe when I am. I can't hold that camera and drive. So maybe I'll come back when I pull up at work. Cause then maybe I'll feel differently. I think I'm gonna get, should, should I get donuts for my team? I think that would be nice. I just want to do one last final thing for my team. I don't know. We'll see. I'll see y'all in a few. So finally heading to 
finally heading to work. I'm a little late, but it's okay. Still don't feel tired. I feel cold, but no emotions yet. But I did um, finish my thank you cards for my coworkers, and when I was writing the one to my manager, I was just like reflecting because. <laughs> Um, she's just been like a really good manager she's not like overbearing and she's like super understanding and there have been some times when I've had like some oh no I can't wait for this to I'm about to go back inside but there have been times when I um, I've had like some conflict on my team and I've had to like discuss it with her and she was just always like super understanding and she never like said like you're wrong you know she always helped me to see things from a different perspective and you know she was just really chill real cool that's my girl but you know then today Facebook you know you have your Facebook memories whatever my Facebook memories um it showed, start, it showed uh, my graduation pictures. What's up, I heard somebody, I got a little scared. But um, yeah, that was in my Facebook memory today and I know it's just weird, like that day, two years in a row, I was celebrating, um, I was celebrating graduating and now, and you know, when I graduated, like I wanted a job and all that stuff. And now two years later on the same day, like it's my last day at work. So I don't know, it's just funny that that was in my memories today. It's just crazy to me that like, this is really happening. Like there was a point where I was just so unhappy like I would just cry at work, come home from work and just cry. Because I was so happy, I mean so unhappy. And I couldn't figure out like, I couldn't figure out what made me happy. I couldn't figure out how to get happy, like what steps to take to get there. And it was just like a really rough time. Like we spent so much time at work and to be unhappy, during that time, it, that's a lot of your life spent unhappy. So, and let me just say, this is not me telling you, like, quitting your job is the answer. Because everybody's situation is not like mine. So, it, but it is me saying, you know, figure out what makes you happy. Figure out how to get there. You know, use your resources. If you do have them, use your parents. Like, use the people around you to help you figure things out. Like, my mom... She was just so like instrumental in all of this because she was the first person that I would call when I was crying. And I, I normally try not to cry in front of my mom. It's very rare that I cry in front of my mom because um, I'm her only child. And like, I always feel like whatever emotions I have, she takes on those emotions. So I've tried to like, hold a lot of things in especially when I'm around her but like it came to a point where I would just call her like crying like and not just like a few tears come like I was boo-hooing crying and I could tell like it made her upset but it was like I didn't know what to do I couldn't figure out what I wanted and um I did like I would tell her I feel like I made a mess of my life like I just feel like I had messed up so bad and I'm, yeah, I don't want to tell too much here because I'm going to make a whole video about this, but that's just some of it. You know, it's just, it's a bittersweet feeling. Like, finally, things at work were kind of, like, getting better, but I don't know how long the better will last, you know? So, it's just crazy, like... 
this is really happening. I don't know. I don't know if I'm being dramatic, but I don't know. It just, it just feels like a big deal to me. Like not a big deal. So I was like, let's have a party, you know, but it just feels like this is a big thing. Like I'm walking away from my job, you know, security and walking into the unknown. Like people are always like, and I, if I tell, when I tell people I'm leaving my job, they're like, what are you doing next? I don't know. All I got is a dollar and a dream. I'm walking on faith, literally. I don't know what I'm doing next. And normally I'll be like uh, nervous to say I don't know, but I don't, I'm not nervous. I'm not hesitant. I'm kind of like, not proud, but you know, I can easily say I don't know what I'm doing next. And I, I'm okay with that. Because I thought I knew what I wanted to do, but that's not it. And I know what it feels like to be unhappy and not like what your circumstances. So, I don't know feels okay. It it feels just fine to say I don't know. I don't think it will really hit me until I'm like driving home. But we'll see. Now normally I'm not, you know, big on getting on camera and crying. I just think that's kind of corny, but I was not expecting to cry and I just left work and I started packing up my desk and I just like started getting emotional and I'm just not sure why but it's just funny because I remember like there would be days at work when I would like um where I would like have to leave my desk and go to my car because I like couldn't stop crying because of like how unhappy I was or it would be days when I would come home from work and I couldn't do anything but cry because I was just so frustrated and just so unhappy. Like I said before, like I didn't know what happiness looked like or how to get there. So, I mean, it's just funny like now like I'm crying for a different reason. I don't, I don't even know why I'm crying like. I don't know. I did not expect to cry or get upset or emotional or anything like that. I thought I was fine, but as soon as I started packing up my desk, it's just like everything hit me at once. Like, you really did it. Like, you really figured out, like, what makes you happy. And you took that chance to... You put your happiness... I Basically, I just put my happiness first. And I'm not done yet, but, you know, the, I'm taking the steps to do what I need to do to be like fully happy and it just really just feels good like I'm finally free um, but it was tough like I have met some really good people at my job so it was really tough to like say goodbye to them like especially my manager I think I said this already but like I just love my manager like I couldn't have asked for a better manager but like it was bigger than her you know so I did it I really did it like I'm really done that's crazy like I think I can honestly say like I never thought this would like I never back a few months ago like I I did not know what I was gonna do I was just all I knew was that I was unhappy and I wanted a way out but I didn't know what that looked like I didn't know how to get there and I figured it out
I don't really like, like I said, I think it's like mad corny to like cry on camera, but I didn't know I was going to cry. And I can't record myself while I'm driving, so yeah. All I can say is I did it. Like, I did it. I was tired of complaining and not doing nothing about it. You know, not getting nowhere, being unhappy, having to drag myself out of bed. And all that's over now. And I pray I don't have to go back to that at any point because it doesn't feel good at all like I don't know what the I don't I never been depressed but if that's what it feels like I don't want to feel that anymore I don't want to feel that ever again because I wasn't myself at all I was just I was so unhappy and I felt like I was too young to feel so unhappy but I did it like I just hope that somebody sees this and sees that there's a way out it may not be quitting I don't know you know everybody's different what I do may not work for you but I just hope somebody sees and knows like you can get out like you know you're not stuck and wherever you feel like you're stuck at you're you're not stuck that's not the end you know you just have to kind of step back and figure out how to get out you know but it's possible to free yourself and I'm gonna try to stop crying but I'm probably not gonna stop crying I'm about to call my mama because that's what I do all the time call my mama but I just wanted to come and finish this little mini vlog um, like I said I will have hopefully I'll get this posted like tonight it shouldn't take me too long to like throw this together because it's not like super extravagant but should be posted like it's four to it's four right now hopefully it's like posted at like six or seven you know i really want to get this out you know but the full sit down explanation all of the details that led up to this uh that's coming maybe i recorded tonight i don't know because when i cry i really be drained <laughs> but um yeah all that's coming but I just hope that somebody really like took this and and they can see that it's possible to get out like your happiness is out there you just gotta find it you you really you just gotta find it you gotta fight for it you just gotta figure out how to get there one step at a time i'll see y'all in the next one